Ms. Fulton. Thank you. Thorny Sturgis, what's been the biggest adjustment you know, coming in to, to this level? Um, the biggest adjustment for me is just playing hard and just enjoying the moment. This is my last year, so I kind of just got to soak it all in and just have fun with it and enjoy the moment. So I'll probably say just playing hard because it's, it's a tough environment here at Tennessee. I see why they win a lot, so I just got to adjust and just play harder. You were the first transfer to commit to Tennessee uh, this offseason. Why did you pick Tennessee? I chose Tennessee because one, Rick Barnes, unbelievable coach. I knew he would push me to be so I can get better. And two, just obviously to get better, great program. I already knew what it was coming in. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be gritty. And of course, I wanted to win. They're a winning program. And that's why I chose Tennessee. What part of the system has challenged you the most? What part of it? The system has, it, has challenged you the most? Um, I'd probably say um, probably with Coach G. Uh, he's, he's very tough. I mean, he gets on me every day, but he wants the best for me, so. What kind of the, you got a reason? You know you don't. What kind of the points of emphasis for you in your game this offseason? Where are you trying to improve the most? Um, I'm just trying to improve every area of my game, but one I'll probably say is like driving to the rim, getting to the free throw line more so I can help my team in that area. You spoke about Rick Barnes, first impressions practicing under him. Obviously, you had the summer practices, but what have been your impressions practicing under him? I mean, he's just, I mean, everyone knows. I mean, I mean, he caught me by surprise, but then I got, I got kind of adjusted to it. And I mean, me and him, we got a good relationship, and I just smile at him and just enjoy my time with him because I only got one year with him. Are you, are you playing mostly at the four? Are you playing you know, four and, and on the wing, or what do you concentrate on the most? The four and the wing. And have, have you done that before, played like a small ball four? Yeah, I played that before. Do you, do you like it? Do you feel like your skill set? I mean, anywhere, whenever I just want to be on the court, wherever I'm at, I'm going to do my best and play hard. How'd you end up with number eight? Did you get handed it? Uh, I mean, my favorite player of all time is Kobe Bryant. And so I just installed in my head mama mentality. He had number eight coming in, so that's why I chose number eight. What have been your impressions of Igor Milicic and what he can do on the court? Um, he's an unbelievable player. He's probably my best, one of the um, closest ones I'm here on the team with. Can pass the ball, can really shoot it, block shots fast. He's an unbelievable player, and I'm glad to have him as my teammate. What's it like? I mean, this happens all the time now with the transfer portal, but what's it like coming in kind of as a group of four, like almost your own recruiting class? Are you four guys tight? Um, yeah, me, Chaz, Igor, Felix, yeah, we, we're really close. Um, we get together very often at their practices, go to the student center, get some lunches together. So we bond really well. You shot 40% from the three last year. How much are they planning to stretch you out and make you shoot from distance this year? I mean, they're planning on doing that a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, my goal is to shoot higher than 40%. I mean, I believe I can, and I know I'll do it, so. How would you describe like your energy or the way you play on the court? Um, my energy, I mean, one, I smile a lot, so I'm always have good energy. I'm bubbly, and I, I like to talk a lot, like talk trash with my teammates sometimes, so my energy is high on the court. Can they handle that, or? Yeah, they can handle it. <laughs> so like running down the court and transition with Sakai Ziegler running point? Man, he, he's fast, so I got to, like I said earlier, in one of the questions, I got to um, adjust me going harder and pick up my speed. But he's an unbelievable point guard, probably the best point guard in the um, SEC or college basketball. So I just got to pick up to where he is. Have you played with a guy that's that small but has that big of an impact on the court court before? Uh, yeah, I played with um, my guy at Hofstra, Jaquan Carlos. But Zakai, he's different. Um, much faster, better, better um, conference. So it'll be fun. Did you talk to uh, Aaron Strada at all about making the jump to the SEC? And what kind of advice did he give you? Yeah, he gave me a ton of advice. He told me I was built for it. He said he knows I'm good enough to play there. Um, I talked to him the other day. He just told me just keep believing in myself and just keep going. 
if you look at your box scores from last year, y'all schedule, you guys played power five teams or big conference teams. I mean, those are some of your best games. Did you have those dates circled on the calendar? Was that always like a, you know, a chance for you to prove yourself? I mean, I just, those type of games I'm made for. I like the crowd and I was just ready to play. Anything else for D-Stone? All right, thanks. Thank you.